Wednesday, what do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. If you look into the Torah, if you look into the Old Testament, you will find a line that is paramount to understanding higher consciousness. It says, as a man thinketh, so is he. As a man thinketh, so is he. All of you have heard it. It's been talked about by everybody in the field. That we become, Emerson, Emerson said, the ancestor to every action is a thought. We become what we think about all day long. Our minds create our reality. Everything emanates from this place called our thoughts. And most of us know this. But we have to look at the reverse of this. That if your thoughts are on healing, and your thoughts are on attracting abundance into your life, and your thoughts are on having divine relationships, and if you go around thinking, well, all I have to do is think those kinds of thoughts, then I will attract it into my life. What you have to look at is how much of your energy and your time is spent on thinking that those things are not possible for you. Here are the four. If what you think about is what creates your reality, and what you think about is what's missing in your life, then you will have to attract more of what's missing into your life. This law of attraction is a pretty simple thing. That the universe will respond back to you with whatever it is that you put out there. And if, what, if you call your friends and neighbors and talk to them on the phone about what is missing in your life, and you spend a lot of energy on commiserating about what you don't have and what I can't get, then, and you understand that simple premise that as a man thinketh, so is he, or as a woman thinketh, so is she, then you will continue to act upon the thought of what is missing in your life. And more of what is missing will show up. <laughs> 